Pioneer's next in-dash receivers offer Apple CarPlay for iPhone users. With Apple CarPlay, drivers can use Siri voice control to make and receive calls, compose and respond to text messages, access Apple Maps for navigation, and listen to their favorite music, podcasts, and Apple Music. CarPlay offers drivers a smarter, safer, and more fun way to use your iPhone while behind the wheel. Let's take a moment and we'll show you how to operate Apple CarPlay with your Pioneer Next in-dash receiver. Even though your particular in-dash receiver may have buttons on the side, or across the bottom like this one, the on-screen operation in this demonstration is identical for the following Pioneer Next models. AVH1300 Next. AVH1330 Next. MVH2300 Next. AVH2300 Next. AVH2330 Next. AVH3300 Next. On the back of your Pioneer Next in-dash receiver, there is one USB port. You can see that right here. You'll use this USB port for Apple CarPlay. This is the USB extension that came with your Pioneer in-dash receiver. Run the USB extension up into the passenger compartment. Now, connect your lightning cable to the USB extension. You can use the wire that came with your phone for Apple CarPlay. That'll work just fine. Or you could use Pioneer's CD-IU52 USB to lightning cable and keep this cable in your car. Do I need additional software on my phone or on my Pioneer in-dash receiver to make Apple CarPlay work? Let's start off with the in-dash receiver. You should go to www.pioneerelectronics.com and download and install the latest firmware updates for your particular in-dash receiver to make sure that CarPlay will work. On your phone, any variety of iPhone 5 or higher will work with Apple CarPlay. As long as you have the latest version of iOS installed, you have everything you'll need to make CarPlay work. If you're looking for additional Apple CarPlay compatible apps, check Apple's website for more information. Download and install those CarPlay compatible apps on your phone and they'll operate on your next in-dash receiver. So I have, uh, I've connected my USB extension included in the box with my Pioneer Next in-dash receiver to the USB port on the back of the receiver. And I've run that uh, cable up into the passenger compartment and I've connected my uh, proper iPhone cable uh, to the USB extension. And now all I have to do is plug in the iPhone. And here you can see that the system automatically switches over to Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay can help you do a lot of things very safely inside your vehicle while you're driving. Uh, one of those is making phone calls. So let's make a phone call. Who would you like to call? Call Reginald. Calling Reginald. And here you can see we're making a phone call to Reginald. Now, once that phone call has been answered, we have a number of options on the screen here. If I want to mute the call, I can just touch the mute button and touch it again to unmute. If I need a keypad, I can touch the keypad button so I can enter a number. And we'll go back. And if I wanted to add another call here, I can do that as well. We'll go back. When I'm done with this call, all I have to do is press the red button to hang up. That ends the call and it takes me back to my favorites. And I can see the numbers of my favorites right here and touch any one of them to make a call. I can see my recent calls, my contacts that are stored in the phone. I can bring up a keypad and I can check my voicemail. Let's go back to my home screen. Let's send a text message. Who would you like to text? 
Send a text message to Percival. What do you want to say? Let's get together for lunch. Your message to Percival says, let's get together for lunch. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, I'll send it. When a text message comes in, you'll get a uh, notification across the top of the screen right here. Now, I can touch that notification right now, and that will read the message back to me, or I can touch my home button, and I can see that I've received a message over here. So let's touch that. Would you like to hear your unread messages or create a new one? I'd like to hear my unread messages. You have a new message from Percival. Sounds good. When and where? Would you like to reply? Yes. Go ahead. Let's make it the usual place at 12 noon. Your reply to Percival says, let's make it the usual place at 12 noon. Ready to send it? Yes. Done. Percival said, cool. Want to reply? No, thanks. Okay. I can use uh, Apple CarPlay for turn-by-turn -turn instruction using Apple Maps. So we can open Apple Maps right here. And we can use the system to uh, input a destination. And here we have a number of, of uh, recent places. And we can search for different places here. And we can create a destination from our recent list. We're going to go back here. We can also create a destination by voice. Where would you like to go? I want to go to Heinz Hall. Okay, one option is Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra on Penn Avenue in Pittsburgh. Let me know if I should call one of them or get directions for you. And we'll touch that on the screen. There are bunches of different apps that you can use uh, with Apple CarPlay, and I have some of them installed right here. If I want to choose any of these to play some music, I can do that just by touching the screen. Or I can use my voice to activate apps, too. I'm going to press and hold the home button for a moment. Start Spotify. So here we are with Spotify, and we'll choose something to play. Now there are a number of different ways that we can switch back and forth from Apple CarPlay to the Pioneer Next system. On the home screen for CarPlay, I can just touch the Pioneer button here. That takes me out to the Pioneer home screen where I can choose a different source. We'll choose the HD radio source, for example. And if I want to go back to Apple CarPlay, I can touch the swap screen hard key right here. That switches me back to CarPlay. Touch it again. Takes me back over to the Pioneer system. Remember, you can always touch the home button, and on the home button here, you have your iPhone 5 listed, and I've got the Apple CarPlay button up on the screen right now. If I open that window, I have other options here. I'm going to choose Apple CarPlay. That'll take me right back over there. And I'm on the HD radio source right now. If I'd like to adjust the HD radio source, I can bring up my sub-display, and this will let me switch between my radio station presets. And we'll touch the, uh, the home button here and go back out to the Pioneer screen where we can choose a different source, whatever we would like. And then touch the, uh, we'll touch the home button again and go back to Apple CarPlay. I'm going to touch the Now Playing button. 
and I can see that I have Welcome to the Jungle playing on Spotify, and I can play that a little louder if I want to. So when I touch the volume control, I see that I have the Apple CarPlay volume and I have the Guidance volume. Now these are independent of one another. So I can have the Apple CarPlay volume a little louder or a little quieter, and I have the Guidance a little, a little louder or a little quieter as well. So two different volume controls for different things operating in the system. Now let's make a phone call. Now, now that we're on a phone call, we can adjust the telephone call volume here as well. So you can see on a phone call, Apple CarPlay is the active volume, and this will adjust the uh, volume of the telephone call inside your vehicle. So if you want a little louder or a little quieter, you can adjust that right here. Or you can use the hard key button to do that as well. You still have an independent volume control for the guidance. In this case, I don't have Apple CarPlay connected right now. You can see that I don't have the uh, wired connection. And I'm on the Pioneer screen, independent of one another, and I have the HD radio volume right here. Okay, and I can adjust the HD radio volume, but I only have one volume control. Now, I'll plug in the iPhone. And this will take us over to Apple CarPlay. Now when I go out to the Pioneer source, and we'll choose HD radio here, you can see that I now have two different volume controls. I have the HD radio volume, which is the AM FM radio source here, and I have the guidance volume, which is Apple CarPlay, because I can be listening to any of the sources from the radio or from the, uh, from the phone while we use Apple CarPlay. So we have independent volume controls for independent sources playing inside the system.